lower one, uh, can anyone hear me now? Uh, let's see. A, can we see a chat saying everyone, can anyone hear me? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So uh, thank you for uh, joining Hack the Mind. Uh, we're just gonna do a, do a quick opening ceremony, get you guys ready to do the hacking and yeah. So, uh, Upkar, can you um, talk by chance? Hello. Hello. All right. Yeah. Okay. One moment to get everything set up. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix my mic for a sec. Then uh, I'll let you do the uh, first bit. Then I'll just hop on. You know. Hey, is uh, are you able to see my screen? Yep. yep. Okay. Like it. You see it? Okay. All right. Welcome everyone to uh, XD Hacks Mini Windsor 2022 Hack the Mind. Uh, so a little bit about this event. So this event is going to be 36 hours. It's a virtual hackathon, open for high school students of any experience level that are interested in tech and entrepreneurship. Uh, you will be using both your technical and soft skills to prototype a project and pitch and you will pitch it to the judges for a chance to win some prizes thanks to our sponsors. Uh, we are a branch of XD Hacks Mini, uh, uh, local to Windsor, and we're focused on we're focused on nurturing the growth of tech, the tech community in the Windsor, Ontario region. We encourage all of you to familiarize yourself with the opportunities that STEM related fields have to offer regardless of your prior knowledge or background. This hackathon will consist of workshops, panels, and bonding events for all of you to enjoy while you're developing your projects. So our theme this year is gonna be mental health. So you're gonna be designing and prototyping projects in groups of one to four, focusing on addressing subtype of mental health issue. From anything like a positive affirmations Discord bot to a wellness tracking app, we encourage you to try and innovate solutions to your everyday problems. You are going to submit a five minute video presentation uh, explaining and demonstrating your project to the judges and how it relates to mental health. Your projects don't have to be mental health related, but this will be something that we will look for when judging. And this could be, end up being the deciding factor whether or not you win. If your project is mental health, in your five minute video, you should explain, uh, sorry, state explicitly what it is the, what the mental health issue that you are trying to alleviate is and how your project does so. Well, uh, Raf, do you wanna take over now? Yeah, so we will be looking at your project uh, through different criteria, right? So you're gonna have to keep this in mind when you are creating your project. So the first criteria, um, I want to talk about is presentation. Your five-minute presentation that you will submit through DevPost. What you know is it is your presentation you know informative, concise, and clear. Uh, second criteria is feasibility. Is the product easy to understand and use? You know you don't want like too complex of a product that like no one's able to use. You want something that is simple and easy to understand. The third one, innovation. How original and unique is the product? Is your product like just a copy and paste of other products or is it like something unique that different, differentiate yours with others? The third, uh, the fourth one is creativity. Is there a holistic aesthetic thought behind creating the product and presentation? Like essentially it's just like how creative is your product, right? On solving a problem. Uh, the fifth one is effectiveness. How effective is it on solving the problem that you are trying to solve? And that's pretty much, pretty much the five criteria that we are looking for when you make your own uh, project. Um, in the video, uh, someone asked right now, uh, do you have to speak in the video? Will it affect our criteria? 
Well, it will, because like if you want, it will affect your criteria because like it, it would be directly on top of presentation because like you, unless you could explain your product really, really well without speaking, then, you know, you don't have to speak. But I think for the majority, speaking and explaining how your product works can definitely um, have, you could definitely earn a better score in the presentation criteria. If you can find some way to effectively uh, get across what it is, what the problem you're trying to solve is and how your project does it without speaking, then by all means, but uh, I feel like this is the best, the best way to do it is to, is to talk, but it's up to you. Also, also, by the way, if you haven't um, signed up through DevPost, uh, you will need to do that because that's essentially the place you will, that you will be sending your five minute, um, five, five minute presentation. So, uh, you know, if you haven't, please do. And if you are not in Discord, uh, please do join the Discord because, um, you know, it's, we do post a lot of announcements in there and that's where we're going to be holding some of the stuff later on. And yeah, uh, Okra, can you uh, go to the next slide, please? Thank you very much. So let's talk about schedule. Right now, it's our opening ceremony. After this ceremony, you could now make your, you could start start hacking away your project. Uh, technically, you could like submit the project, but I mean, that wouldn't be really practical because you just started the project. Uh, April 9, the, uh, you could start hacking away for, you know, for the rest of the day. But at 3 p.m., there will be a great, great speaker that will be speaking to us about the importance of cybersecurity and how to get into it. Uh, they do, the guy is a very knowledgeable in his field. So I think it's a very, I think it's going to be a very good um, talk. So um, for April 10th, at 12 a.m., we will be hosting Midnight Games. It could be like really up to, up to you guys, like on what games you got to play, like Valorant or maybe League of Legends. We also have dark box, so we could do that depending on what you guys like. At 8 a.m., that's where, let's like, at 8 a.m., that's when the project submission ends. You cannot submit anything later than 8 p.m. because that's the cutoff time. And at 9.30 a.m., that's where all the judging begins. At 1 p.m., that's the closing ceremony, which we, that's, that's necessarily going to conclude the whole event, and we are going to be telling who the winner is, what the price would be, and everything, et cetera, et cetera. Also, by the way, for prizes, some of you might not be eligible, depending on the area you live in, but mostly if you live in Canada and the United States, you're pretty much fine. So just letting you guys know that right now. And I also said that in the um, participant package, uh, if you haven't seen the participant package, please do check your email because I've, um, I've sent that earlier. So yeah, Okra, uh, can you go to the next one? All right, so uh, some potential project ideas and themes that you could have. So if you're going for something like physical health, you can make a food and nutrition software or uh, physical activity or something to help with your sleep. Uh, if you're trying to make something to help with de-stressing, you could uh, explore some hobbies and uh, find ways to implement that into your project, some of your own hobbies. Uh, some kind of coloring software or self-care. If you're exploring mindfulness, you can do something like reflection and journaling, uh, social media regulation or meditation. Uh, and for example, if you're doing something like connection and communication, we have you can do something along the lines of or involving mental health services or something involving your loved ones. These are just some examples of uh, projects that you can make. You're by no means limited to uh, these examples, but it's completely up to you, just some examples. Now, we want to thank our sponsors very quickly. Uh, they're the ones that are, are, they helped us a lot in making this event and providing us with a lot of prizes and, and gifts for all of you. So without further ado, let's start with Echo 3D. Echo 3D is a cloud platform for 3D, AR, and VR that provides tools and server-side infrastructure to help developers and uh, companies quickly build and deploy 3D, AR, and VR games, apps, and content. Echo 3D has been kind enough to provide free premium access to their software for uh, all of our participants. Uh, and for one month free access to the business plan, uh, the, or sorry, the business plan features of Echo 3D platform, there will be a link available in the, uh, in the Discord for you all to look at. 
Um, Echo3D also has one of their uh, representatives in the Discord to help you out with getting your free premium uh, or any other questions you have uh, relating to Echo3D. You can uh, ask in the Echo3D help chat. Next, we have Taskade. Taskade is a collaborative task management software with unlimited flexibility. It's designed to help individuals and remote teams work together in one unified workspace. Taskade is built for real-time collaboration. Share your projects and tasks, chat with teammates, and see changes as they happen across all devices on mobile and desktop. Plan, organize, and prioritize upcoming tasks in the team roadmap. Taskade lets you automate your workflows and get work done. Taskade has been generous, generous, generous enough to provide uh, all of our participants with a five-year premium upgrade. Uh, and for all of these prizes, we will have and more information to come in the Discord as we get it or uh, as we get the links and such. Uh, and that will also be uh, in the Discord. So next we have Wolfram. Wolfram Alpha is a unique engine for computing answers and providing knowledge. It works by using its vast store of expert level knowledge and algorithms to automatically answer questions, do analysis and gener generate reports. Wolfram uh, has provided us with one year Wolfram One personal edition and a subscription to Wolfram Alpha Pro for everyone. Um, Next, we have Leading Learners. Leading Learners is an educational technology company and platform considered the all-in-one platform for students. The company is supporting thousands of unheard stories, uh, monthly of student users with academic struggles, struggles and financial barriers in education. In the first year, Leading Learners platform had millions of dollars in scholarships available for students. And Leading Learners has provided us with a mentorship session for the winning teams. Um, next, we have HyperX. Every day, billions of people wake up, eat, and fire up a game as part of their daily routine. Whether you're a pro getting in a scrim in, pe in preparation for a major, a streamer settling into a broadcast to legions of fans, or someone jumping online with your friends, or a commuter killing time on your train ride, we all game. At HyperX, they get that because they're right there with you. They know that whatever you play, however you play, we're all gamers. Their products are made to enhance your gaming life. They are ultra, com they are ultra comfort comfortable cloud headsets, the durable and responsive alloy keyboards and pulse fire mice and the charge play products to keep gear charged. Everything is designed, built and fine tuned with the gamer in mind. Whether you're on console or PC, casual or pro, no matter your creed, color or culture, we're all gamers and HyperX is always ready to game. See you in queue. HyperX has provided Cloud2 red gaming headsets for the winning teams, five of them, and uh, they will be distributed by our discretion, but they are uh, the top prizes, one of the top prizes. Next, we have 1Password. One 1Password one is a password manager developed by Agile Bits Inc. It provides a place for users to store various passwords, software licenses, and other sensitive information in a virtual vault that is locked with a PBKDF2 guard, guarded master password. Uh, one password is offering a uh, offering all teams to the free or sorry uh, teams to the free open source community. This is part of our one pass the one password teams for open source program. Uh, we, they use open source software every day, or sorry, we use op, open source software every day to build 1Password and 1Password wouldn't exist without it. This program is our way of giving back by helping more than 250 projects to stay secure. A safe place to keep secrets like social media logins, code signing cert certificates and SSH keys. Uh, they have provided 25% off the first year for all new users of 1Password. Um, Next, we have the Interstate Truck Center. Interstate Truck Center is a truck repair shop local to Windsor, Essex, with high quality service and truck parts sold at reasonable prices, metal fabrication services with welding and machining and such, roadside assistance, towing services, very knowledgeable and skilled staff, excellent customer service, no hidden fees, and great prices. 
Interstate Truck Center is a one-stop shop for all of your mechanical and trucking needs. Interstate Truck Center has provided us with $100 gift cards for the top team for the uh, top teams, as well as $50 for the second and third place teams. Next, we have West of Windsor. Women's Enterprise Skill Training of Windsor Inc. Uh, was developed in 1984 as a response to a disproportionately high levels of unemployment among women and dif the difficulties experienced by women attempting to enter the workforce. Offering unique training opportunities for women from Windsor, Essex and around the globe. Through skills enhan enhancement and volunteer placements, visible minority women have been prepared for entry to employment and have moved closer to achieving the success they desire. In particular, I'd like to talk about the SEAT program. SEAT stands for Science, Engineering, Arts, and Technology. It is a program funded by the, gov uh, the federal government. It aims to empower young women to, uh, to think of careers in STEM and STEAM. Uh, this program will give young women between the ages of 15 and 30 years old the opportunity to work together on STEAM-related community-based projects that will focus on creating positive change for our community and also earn volunteer hours. If this is something that any of you or any anyone that you know of might be interested in, we will leave information in the Discord again, and uh, you can ask questions there as well, and we will uh, try our best to answer them for you. Thank you to all of our sponsors to providing us with these amazing prizes and gifts for all of you, and thank you for, them to, for helping us out, and thank you for attending XD Hex Mini Windsor 2022. Okay, um, thank you, Okra, for that. And now I'm gonna talk about a bit of um, a code of conduct first before we uh, get started. So a code of conduct, I think that's pretty much common sense at this point. Like, just like try to go um, keep slurs out of the uh, out of everything and uh, try to keep everything appropriate essentially. And uh, I'll be uh, answering. Just keep it a lot, essentially. Yeah, I'm gonna be um, answering to the. We have two questions right now, and the first question says, how will presentations work if you have multiple group members? How will each member to submit on their end? Well, each member doesn't have to submit on their end. You just have to only have one member have to do it. And if you win, we will contact you and you just have to give us um, the names of your team members so we could uh, process the prizes and everything. Um, as for presentations, you could have different parts or some people don't even need to uh, present. Just, you know, this um, create a five minute, five, minute, five minute video max. And if other team members want to speak or do something, then that's good. Uh, second question is, will our product presentations be live or pre-recorded? Um, it will be pre-recorded and you will have to submit it through that post before 8 a.m. of Sunday, April 10th, uh, EST time zone. Um, is there any more questions that we could answer? Guys, you know, if you have any questions, just let us know. Okay. Um, yeah, that seems. I think uh, that should be it. I don't see any uh, questions right now. So yeah, thank you for joining this opening ceremony. You guys could pretty much start hacking away and uh, good luck on the event. Okay, so actually there's one more question um, that they ask. Will each team member get a headset if they win? Uh, yes, if you are the first place winner, because uh, uh, although each team only has a max members of four people, you cannot have more than four people. So if you win, uh, each of your each of the team members will get a headset each. Yeah, the distribution of the headsets and the gift cards is, is at our discretion. We will. Uh, it depends on how many. Uh, people are there are for the in the top teams so there's no guarantee whether or not you will get one if you're second or third but if you're first you will okay is there any more questions that we could answer okay uh, i think that's pretty much it uh thank you and uh happy hacking guys <laughs>